Early in my career, I had a massive problem that when I'd shut down at the end of each day, I struggled to let go of the working day and it would affect my rest in the evenings. I am not alone in this. So in this video, I review an idea from Cal Newport known as the shutdown ritual and how applying a similar principle in my life helped me go from a stressed wreck to a zen master. Well, at least not a chaotic mess. And how you can apply this too. The shutdown ritual is quite a simple idea, as at the end of each day you go through a simple routine to help you end your day in a conclusive way, to ensure that it doesn't affect your rest in the evenings and during sleep, something which will impact both your productivity and creativity. I have a natural habit of overthinking things and this was a major problem when I first started my professional career, as my natural paranoia of pretty much every negative outcome possible led me to constantly questioning whether I had done enough in the day whether I should be doing more and thinking and rethinking each and every possible mistake I may have made. This would even be as trivial as considering if I shook a client's hand or greeted them properly. And I wish I could say I'm joking there, but alas, there I was questioning whether I knew how to say hello. hello. Knowing the effect this was having on me, I developed a simple process which over the years has allowed me to end my working day with little to no stress. And honestly, these days my mind switches off from work like a light switch. Something I actually take a little pride in knowing the place I came from. So what is the process? To apply the idea of my personal shutdown routine, I start off by scheduling time each day to go through the process, usually 30 minutes before the end of the day. This time is initially used to review any outstanding emails. Rather than checking emails constantly through my working day, I tend to schedule times to check them to avoid distraction from my day's work. So this is the last time for checking my emails before shutting down for the day. If there are any emails I can't action on at that time, I will look to reschedule them for the next day. Once I've gone through my emails, I review my to-do list, usually a key list of tasks I need to make sure I complete within the day or week, depending on urgency. Those items that are completed will be ticked off the list, with those still needing work being rescheduled for another day. After going through my list, I begin to shut down whilst telling myself I'm done for today. Actually, the phrase wasn't something I consciously said, but rather just the habit I grew which I now maintain, as Cal Newport defines this as a termination phrase, which in the event of thinking about work in the evening, acts as a reminder that you would only say it if you went through the full process before shutting down essentially tying up all loose ends. Cal Newport's termination phrase is schedule shutdown, complete. As I say the phrase I also shut down, the physical act of switching off work for the day. So now that we better understand the process, it's worth looking at why it works. The benefit of the shutdown routine is twofold, as it both helps us relax in the evening, but coincidentally helps us actually be more productive as a result. So the reason it helps us relax is actually built on a theory known as the Zgarnik effect, whereby it was found that people actually better retain information in their memory when disturbed during a task, or it remains incomplete. For example, waiters were found to better remember orders that they had yet to deliver than those they had already finished distributing. This is a neat little nugget of knowledge to be aware of when studying, and using breaks to improve your memory, but I'll probably look to cover that in another video. However, just as the Zagarnik effect can be used to our benefit, it can equally mean that the incomplete tasks leave attention residue, making it hard to switch off at the end of the day. That's why so many people might end their working day, but struggle to keep their mind off work. The idea of a shutdown routine is to give you a clear conclusion at the end of each day, meaning when you finish, you don't end with an incomplete project on your mind but rather finish by going through a clearly defined process that puts you at ease that you've done all you need to for that day. This is fundamental for work stress and coping with anxiety, and something that has benefited me greatly. Which leads us to the second point. Sure, this process helps us to reduce stress, but how does it improve productivity? Well, this is down to something known as the incubation effect whereby we may consciously stop thinking about a problem, but your unconscious brain is still working to find a solution. This is why you might find that you spend hours stressing about a problem to no avail, and then suddenly your greatest and most profound thought, including the solution to said problems, and perhaps even the meaning to life itself, comes while you're sitting on the toilet. To add to this, it's when we rest, and in particular sleep, that we help to activate the prefrontal cortex as found in studies. 
the prefrontal cortex has numerous roles, not least in helping problem solving and creativity, qualities that are critical in being more productive. If you're struggling with switching off at the end of your working days, give this process a try. I didn't formally look to apply it, but rather I initially did it for my mental health. However, having seen the benefits firsthand, it's not something I intend to ever stop and hope it can benefit you too.